It is Tuesday and day two of bar prep. I just took a shower and my hair is still wet, so excuse that. It is the morning now. I'm probably gonna eat something for breakfast. Yesterday, I did the MBE immersion, what they call it, day one. And then today is the MBE immersion day two. And those are each about six hours long. And then tomorrow, I believe we start reviewing evidence which just so happens to be one of my favorite classes in law school. So I'm actually happy that we're starting with evidence because at least I feel comfortable in my knowledge of that. And today also happens to be the primary voting election in Pennsylvania. So I'm going to go out and vote actually first thing this morning because I know I won't have time to do it later on today since Eloise has a bed appointment. So we're going to take her to that when Ben gets home from work. So yeah, I'm just gonna go out and vote right now and then get to my studying for the bar. But first I'm gonna eat a bowl of cereal before I head out. up now so I can vote. Might get a coffee along the way because I've been craving some iced coffee but I do not have any in my fridge right now. So I'm gonna do that. Got my coffee and I'm on my way to the voting place. I actually haven't had a Starbucks coffee in a while which is surprising for me. I've been getting the stock cold brew stuff and just keeping it in my fridge for when I want iced coffee instead of going to Starbucks. So that's actually stopped me from going to Starbucks, which is good. But I ran out of it just the other day and I forgot to get it at the store. So, Starbucks it is. But since I've been drinking that stock cold brew, which is very mild tasting. <laughs> now when I drink the Starbucks, I can tell why people say it's like really bitter if you're not used to that. I can see why people wouldn't like that in Starbucks. But I actually like that about Starbucks. <laughs> I like when my coffee is a little bit bitter. It gives it that little bit of a punch to start your day. I wonder how many people will be at the voting place at this time. I hope I don't have to stand in a line. Just voted. Got my voting sticker. Oh yeah. I think this is the first time I've ever actually gotten a sticker when I voted. So you better believe I'm gonna wear it. Voting always feels like one of those things that we still do that to me seems very archaic in the way that we do it. Like I feel like you should just be able to go online and vote although I see why they don't do that. But it just feels so weird to me that in today's day and age where we do everything online and we shop online, we do our billing online, everything is online, we still have to go to a specific location to vote. It just feels very old to me. And every time I vote, I feel like I'm going back in time. But I wanna be done with my bar prep stuff today by like 6.30 because Eloise, my cat, has a vet appointment at 7.30 today and it always takes her forever to get in her cat carrier because she eats it. But last time I took her to the vet, I got her a new cat carrier that I can put her in where I can open it up on top and like just place her in from the top, which really helped. And I got her in on the first try but I also don't know if that was because she just didn't recognize that it was a cat carrier, so she wasn't scared of it. I have to take her to the vet because she has been scooting lately. I don't know if any of you know what that is. I didn't really know what it was until I had a cat that did it, but it's basically a really glamorous thing where they rub their butt on the floor. It's actually like a medical condition that means there's something wrong, so. I took her to the vet last time, like a month ago. They gave her medicine and she seemed to be doing better. 
but then she started doing it again. So the vet told me if she did it again to bring her in. So that's what I'm doing. Hopefully we'll get that all sorted out. Okay, so I'm sitting down at my desk now and I'm about to start studying. Today I have six hours of videos to watch. So let's get to it. In both the back pattern and the answer choices. I am done with my morning lecture now, so I'm going to eat some lunch. What I'm gonna eat for lunch today, oh, I almost fell. <laughs> today for lunch, I'm just gonna eat the leftover salmon patties that I made yesterday, and I'm gonna put it in a salad. And there is my salad. I just have lettuce, tomatoes, onion, and then my salmon patties. And I sprinkled some almond slivers on there as well. Oh wait, I forgot dressing. I'm gonna put some balsamic dressing on that. <laughs> Lunchtime is over, but I'm just going to make a coffee uh, that I can have for the next portion of the video. So that's what I'm doing right now before I sit down to study again. I have that bird video on the TV for Eloise to keep her entertained. I don't know if she actually likes it. She likes the one with the mouse that runs across the screen that she can change. She likes that one but she does get bored with it quickly. But the birds, I'm not sure she's too crazy about. But I just figured it would give her a nice little ambiance while I'm studying. I'm gonna go with a decaf coffee because I don't really need caffeine right now. We're taking Eloise to the vet now. I got her in her carrier, but she hates it, and I feel really bad. It's okay, we're going. It's okay, it's okay. We're going now, okay? I'm in the back seat of the car with Eloise now. Ben is driving. Always a traumatic experience taking her to the vet. Although she's not meowing right now. And she got in the carrier easier than I've ever seen so far. That's how easy it was for me last time. Well, I didn't even have to chase her around. I just picked her up and put her in. But this time she wouldn't let me do that. But Ben got her in. Oh boy. Hopefully whatever is wrong with her is fixed this time so I don't have to bring her back again. Because I hate bringing her. Because she hates it. Hi guys. Eloise has been back from the vet now. For a couple of hours. She's back to normal now. Hopefully. <laughs> well she was pretty distressed at the vet. They had to do some sort of procedure on her bum. <laughs> but I didn't go back with her. Usually they let me go back with her. But... 
they kind of just came out and took her today and I was sitting in the waiting room with Ben and I just heard her meowing like crazy like she was scared and in pain and it was a very scary and I felt really horrible for her but now she's back and she seems perfectly content and normal again so that's good but for the rest of the night I've just been wow I looked really crazy <laughs> for the rest of the night I've just been eating dinner first of all relaxing and editing my vlog that I filmed yesterday so I can put it up tonight hopefully it's like 10 30 right now so I want to upload that before I go to bed but yeah that's it for bar prep day two on to day three tomorrow see you tomorrow bye